I think that photo has been five years now. I yeah, mean, it's five years we look a lot better. I mean, it shows clearly that that times have passed. Long. He had long hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And he showed us a picture of I think might be similar or the same. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a very famous spot in Liguria. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. So we've we've this lot for travel has been like from forever. I guess I've been. Personally, I've been going on family holidays every year. Like my mom, my parents last love to do this so every year we'd go on family holidays and for me this was maybe my third time traveling i had basically never traveled in my life since we were young maybe i'd been to tunisia once and to england and that was yeah. it so after this obviously we started and we're mentioning this more. to to kind of get to the point that we where we want to explain that it's like this in malta basically you either have people that have understood that we're a tiny island and there's so much you can do so you have to get out and travel but then you get like the we know so many people that are literally afraid to go on a plane and travel and they have never been away from our island for like more than two days for a retreat in Gozo which is the next island close to Malta but the next photo yeah. will explain why yeah so that's Japan it's the island of Japan, okay, and doesn't as, even fit. Yeah, it doesn't even fit there. And this, this, this piece here, from here to here, that's the longest distance you can travel in Malta, and this is Gozo. 
So and it's Japan. This is Japan. This is Osaka and this is Kyoto. Okay, so if you get the train from Osaka to Kyoto, which takes half an hour, it covers all the distance of the Maltese island. So that's how small it is. Yeah. And and I just I don't know if you ever, but we travel with this with us, and this is our flag. So I really wanted to show you this. Is this the right way? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so that's our flag. And an interesting thing is that we got this from the British um, after Second World War because the Mortis were so courageous and it says for gallantry on it. So it's like an and that's amazing fact. And the data there yeah. shows that Japan is around 1,000 to 100 times bigger than Malta and Japan is considered small when it comes to world mm -hmm. country mm -hmm. size. So, I mean... It, and we, yeah. <laughs> so there's like something small about Malta? Yeah, and well, those are the seven wonders of the world, and it is what brought us to do this adventure, basically. Um, we left Malta with the aim to visit all the seven wonders. We started from Rome and went to the Colosseum in Italy, um, then went straight to India and visited the Taj Mahal, then we did more traveling in between, went to China and visited the Great Wall of China and now we're in Japan. So we obviously have to go to the other side of the world to visit the rest. And this is, the plan is to visit Jordan on the way home because that's very easy for us. So the seven wonders of the world are the ones you can see here. And they are considered wonders because there's something amazing about them. We can talk about the ones we visited, like the Colosseum was built ages ago, um, the Romans built it. And it's a wonder of the world because it's, it was used for entertainment purposes back in the Roman days. But in it, it, it there, there's this system where you can fill it up with water, literally, and get, get ships inside to do battles and... Yeah, the, the, like the seven that. wonders are not our like only quest sort of but yeah. every journey needs a story and this is our story yeah. our story was to see the seven wonders and it was just uh, like an enhancing factor of our yeah. story yeah, we yeah, just yeah, needed right. that extra thing I'll talk briefly about the others in the coming slides yeah so first thing was Rome obviously we stopped in Rome and we are going to tell you like personal experiences we did in these countries we visited. So Italy, it was very close to what we're used to in Malta. Basically because of the food. Oh yeah, that's when we left. That's Malta's airport. Last photo. Yeah, so the food was delicious <laughs> and even the culture is very similar to our culture in Malta. And we had been living in Italy, so yeah, it was very familiar. It's Basically, it was just a trip about food. We were just eating three times a day. Watching some, carbs. watching some good museums and mm -hmm. scenery, but yeah, like yeah. eating was and the main thing. And then we went to the Colosseum, obviously. Oh yeah, that, yeah. I forgot to say it was a family trip. So this is my my family. That's dad, mom, my aunt, my brother, me, and my uncle. That's him, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> On a typical dinner in Italy, that's yeah. Uh, yeah, and then that's a beautiful view, and the Colosseum is there. That's the Colosseum at night. Wow. Yeah, so we got there and we flew straight to India. This is where it started to get interesting. <laughs> and also we are traveling on a budget which takes us to very weird but special experiences. Because when you let money talk for you, it's, it's, you know, it's easy. It's easy with money. But when we kind of say, no, let's try this and try that out, then you get to see like... <laughs> so yeah. this is what yeah. India is about when we first landed in Delhi I, this is not Delhi okay when we first landed in Delhi it was a very big culture shock it was one of the first time I felt overwhelmed and it was one of the first times I wanted and prayed to go home as soon as possible like the first day I was like praying please can I get a ticket to go home and like go yeah. back and it would have been one of the biggest mistakes and I would have ever made in my life probably but we stuck through it because we knew that I mean, it couldn't have been as bad as the first day. Everything had to become better. And Delhi is a, is a special place because there's so much going on all the time. Firstly, animals living with people, cows, pigs, chicken, 
everything in the street, everything is on the street, everything is pooing, everything, everything is running around. Horns like you've never heard before, horns that never stop. Imagine beeping at 11 p.m. All beeping all the time, like you cannot get rid of it. And when you go to sleep, I'm not joking, you hear them in your head, they are stuck there. So that's like, firstly you get uh, oral abuse, you get like so, mu so many noises in your head that at night you hear them. So that's the first thing. Second thing is the smell. This Delhi unfortunately smells disgusting. From <laughs> poop to smog, which is everywhere. So everywhere smells of, uh, what do you call it? Like uh, exhaust. exhaust. There's all the time the smell of exhaust. And also the smell of food. Yeah. Like they cook on the streets. And, and the garbage, they burn garbage. In India, there's no good uh, facility for rubbish treatment, yeah. so garbage is burnt on the streets. Mm -hmm. Like, normally, that's how it works. You can go to the next one. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, this was in... Uh, this is a typical shop. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't say it's a shop, but this guy would be selling some food out of his place, and we did eat at these places, because obviously, we're on a budget, and we ate regularly out in just in the street. And this was, was two cooking. minutes away from the Taj Mahal on foot. Yeah, I mean, it's, mm. it's a different country. And yeah, we made it, we to, made the it to the Taj Mahal. Mahal mm -hmm. So that's like very good, even though at, in the first days we struggled quite a lot to get accustomed to the culture. We, and we did a big mistake. We didn't research a lot about India. And I mean, like if you're going to India, do some research. <laughs> Um, and some uh, facts about the Taj Mahal, it's actually a, a love monument because this is a tomb basically for uh, the, the king built it for, his, for one of his wives because he had many wives but clearly there was a favorite one and he built the Taj Mahal. <laughs> um, it's all made of marble and it's symmetric, 100% symmetrical. Even the engravings in the marble are the same inside everything whatever you see on the right hand side it's on the left hand side so it's spectacular even when the sun was rising um, the the colors on the marble are very very special yeah yeah, yeah I can say that um, yeah and then from there we flew to South India and this special experience with uh, our friends started we met our Indian friends there. the first thing was when we met this friend, what he said to me was this you will, cr you will cry two times in India once when you're coming in and once when you're going out he was right, he was definitely right because it's a country where you fall in love for the culture you fall in love for the food, the people slowly though slowly, very slowly <laughs> but you need time, you need to get accustomed to it there he is yeah, then um, we made some experiences in uh, local schools. So this is a private Muslim school in India, we were at. The boys have a special type of uniform and so do the girls. And we, it's, it's this guy's school, but we were living with his family. So he took us to his school to see, and we were singing some songs and doing some activities with them. So it was so much fun. It's easy to get into Indian schools. So you just ask, can I come to the school? And they, they will <laughs> rarely say no. But we had some no. friends there. So they will rarely say no, though. Yeah, they yeah. Will yeah. Say. So. And that's the guy. That's the same guy. But this school. time, this is in their garden. This is their garden in front of the house. And three siblings. That's a girl. <laughs> because mm -hmm. they normally have um, short hair because of the lines, basically. Um, yeah, and that's their garden. In India, uh, typically, all the families, especially in the south, have a large garden. In, like in cities, it's not like that. But in, in the villages, outskirts of the city... A lot of coconut trees. They, they have yeah, gardens with coconut trees. Coconut is so. the main fruit which they have. Like, it's everywhere. Wherever you go, it's everywhere. And they make it a lot of things with it. Like curries, boats, everything. <laughs> and they cook with coconut uh, wood. So, so that, that's us cooking actually. That yeah. was one of the days we decided to cook for the family. They wanted something local, so we made them chicken nuggets. I mean, it's not Maltese local, but... It's, it's actually very difficult to find ingredients. So Sam went and he saw that chicken being killed. And the, then the chicken was alive before it went to yeah. I saw it running. And then he, he got it home and it was a full chicken. I had to go... 
yeah, with the bones and everything, throw away the insides and yeah, we it was crazy. We did, I didn't. It was still warm. It, it was an experience, yeah. Did you choose the chicken? <laughs> yes. No, 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 no. I hate you. Kill him. <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally, yeah. So, so, so. Uh, there, there he is. He's here, yeah. yeah. I, I, I never imagined yeah. it when I, because I thought we were going to the supermarket. We just went to this place and they were like still alive. So. Yeah, and the, the, the grandma of the house, which is the, the person in charge of the kitchen in India, she was putting coconut logs in there and the fire is always on and that's the cheapest way for them to run a stove kind of yeah because it's coconut wood from their back garden and the fire is it's like it's free then and uh, they get free water from the government which then they boil and use for rice basically to boil rice and drinking yeah no soft drinks obviously and no juices but it's like yeah. one of the things yeah yeah, yeah. So, and that was this is where we were living. Piece. This is just in front of the house. A few meters away, there was a, um, a sort of a Sanc like elephant, elephant sanctuary. Yeah. Elephants are used, like, from, it, it was very different from what we thought. They are used for all religions. So Christians have uh, feasts with elephants, Muslims, and Hindus. And those are the three main religions in the south. They cohabit together. They have no problems. And th but this was a working elephant. Yeah, this was a working elephant. Yeah was carrying a log, obviously he's tied in chains, I mean, you cannot, like, that's yeah. how it works. And that's, I, I just wanted to show you some photos I used to take with my phone, she was very creative with makeup, and she would just go all over, yeah. and that's the, yeah, Alima, we used to live with her, and yeah, there she is. Too creative, <laughs> too creative, <laughs> yeah. I would say. Yeah, and that's Simtias, he's the, and it's the whole family, we used to live with them, um, and this was during a pre-wedding ceremony. Weddings are big in India. You, you, you would have heard that they are big, but they're big like one week long big. Um, so this was the pre-pre-wedding or something like that. And they made us dress up like we had to. So, but it was so much fun. This is a sari. This is one, it's like, imagine a curtain and you're wrapping yourself in it. It's one whole piece of fabric. I think it's five meters long or five something meters. like that. You just go and, uh, and then something like that. A lot of pins, pins. And that's a... Uh, mundu. Mundu, yeah, they wear. Yeah, it's a mundu, and it's for male. Under it, if you're asking, like, under it, they don't wear underpants. <laughs> okay, so we like, that's the question. But he was wearing underpants. I, I was, though. Because, and they fell at one point, so that was lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and I just wanted, this is a YouTube video we have up, which is uh, very special, because... Yeah. It's like what we used to do with them and stuff like that. After this photo, they, they got shouted at by the grandma because they were cutting tomatoes and planting them in the ground, just thinking <laughs> that they, they would grow, obviously. Yeah, and that's, that was how they played. They, they, they play like that. Yeah, that was Every precious, day. yeah. Okay, yeah, and this was some hitchhiking. With, one of the hitchhiking experiences we had in India, we were with some friends, and this was at the back of a truck. This was very, like, an awesome experience because we went up thinking it would be like a five minute journey and it ended up being a 30 minute journey down a hill. And at first you were like, yay, it's so cool. And then my eyes went dry and Sam was feeling sick. So yeah, it was a bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Maldives, yeah. So after India, we went to the Maldives and we, figured, we didn't know this, this is Mahzen, it's in our language, because in the Maldives they speak very, it's a close language to Arabic. Um, and the predominant religion, not, no, 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 not predominant, it's by force you have to be a the Muslim religion. to yeah. be living in the Maldives. Um, okay, and I have a question for you. Where do you think, from where this photo was taken? <coughs> Like, what do you think this building serves? Like, what, what is this building? Do you, can you guess? This is in the Maldives, of course. Mosque. It's like a resort. Resort, no. yeah, yeah. Resort, mosque, okay. Any other ideas? Like, what do you think this is? Like, Michi? Hospital. Oh, yes, you're right. Yeah. This is the hospital. <laughs> so here, we're in the hospital. <laughs> okay, so this is the hospital. So yeah, in, in the Maldives, it was basically us swimming, but then we caught a stomach bug and we had to go to the hospital, and there was the view. 
That's the only ambulance there was on the island. <laughs> So if you're sick, probably you should just like go swimming or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> just will get you to the place you want to go. Yeah, at. it was crazy. And this is the the staff that actually worked at the hospital. Can you go one more? Yeah. It's only twelve people working in the hospital on the island. Like this doesn't count. That's the. It's these <laughs> just only twelve people. That was the whole staff in the hospital. So that was a good experience, I guess. And can you guess what remedy the doctor gave us to do when, when we, when we <laughs> finished the, the, like the session with him? We had a stomach bug. We had diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> no, not weed. <laughs> no. Harry and Ice cream. Yeah, yeah. He, he said go swimming. He said swim. go swimming. Go, go swimming. swimming. Yeah, yeah, just go swimming. I was like, son, okay. He was like, yeah. And that, that's <laughs> us with diarrhea and the food bug. That's <laughs> <laughs> us. Oh, <man. laughs> I don't go swimming with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Then from there we went to Sri Lanka. And. Okay. <laughs> Sri Lanka was mainly this, okay? So I'll just keep it. It was going. mainly this. <laughs> <laughs> this was it, okay? I don't know why, I don't know how, but this country has a big transportation problem. Transport is cheap, I like think nothing. It's like, it's like really it cheap. Really bad. But we've spent all of our trips, and I'm including a five to six hour bus standing up. We never sat down. It was hard. Never. By the end, by the end of our two weeks, we were like, "Oh yeah, I remember the last journey was the worst one." The last on the last journey, there were so many people that people were stepping on our feet and we literally sitting on sitting us. on us, like trying to sit. <laughs> it, it was, was horrible. so crowded. We were it was late. Crazy. We nearly missed the, the plane. <laughs> Everything was going it wrong. It was crazy. Yeah. Everything yeah. was going wrong. That that that's during rush <laughs> hours, granted, but during normal hours, it's not not, not so better. much better than that. Yeah. yeah. I love how they're all staring at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had nothing to do. <laughs> Yeah, uh, what's next? Oh yeah, and some scenes from Sri Lanka. The only thing is that, okay, transportation is a bit like this, but Sri Lanka will give so much back. It has so oh, much yeah. to offer. Nature-wise, it's a beautiful country. You can see elephants, you can see very a lot of wild uh, animals. Mm -hmm. And the scenes you can see on the street, I mean, this photo doesn't shed a Actually, light on... this village is called Candy. Yep, and <laughs> there's yeah, a village yeah. called Candy in Sri Lanka. Yeah. yeah, go on the next one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a Hindu temple. And yeah, those are some German friends we yeah. met in Sri Lanka, um, and that's one tuk tuk. Basically, we used to go on tuk tuk journeys like the like this because we preferred it this way rather than the train or the bus. We still had to go on train and buses yeah. somehow, but that was better, yeah. Obviously, you can avoid like our transportation issues if you just pay yeah. a little fee, like you can. But we you can obviously a on a budget. We wanted to yeah. cheap as possible. So cheap was like um, eighty cents for a two-hour train ride. Yeah, eighty that's cents like, of that's a euro. Cheap. Yeah. That that that's was how cheap oh. it, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. super to, cheap. And and you could get no, you don't. You, it's like the best views ever because the train used to be used by the British to transport um, uh, tea? tea leaves. So it goes like on, on the mountains and hills and then down in the village and then up. So it was these awesome views, yeah. And, and that, as Rose said, it's super cheap. I mean, that, that's why I think it's yeah. so problematic. Oh, hmm. Cambodia. Yeah, so, then we went on to Cambodia. And so on Cambodia, I will talk about something which is normally not discussed a lot, because, and it will be quite sad, okay? From now on, it's a bit sad. <laughs> so Cambodia, uh, Cambodia had a big issue, they had a big war, and this is the Genocide Museum, in fact. In Cambodia, in the time of Pol Pot, uh, two million people, around two million people, were killed in, the, in one of the lastest, one of the latest genocides. Um, it was an experience for us. We normally don't avoid these places. We like to go because obviously mm -hmm. it's a very good reflection of the country and to see how positively people went out of that genocide is, I mean, very impressive. The people are helpful. They are nice. They speak yeah. English. They try to communicate with yeah. tourists. 
So it's, yeah. it's an amazing country. After like, and this has been only 40 years, 40, 50 years. It's 1970 something. So we're not talking about 100 years ago. We, this was, um, it's a genocide museum nowadays, but it used to be originally a school. Then this crazy guy, Paul Potts, turned it into a prison and he used to imprison scholars, basically teachers, um, doctors, advocates, anyone that was a threat to him. People with glasses yeah. because they thought they were intellectuals. Yeah. They, they had so no it, uh, it used, it used to be a prison back then and inside we met uh, three guys that are still alive that survived the genocide somehow. It was crazy, even, even explaining I get goosebumps. Like, can yeah, you notice know, something, something spe there? special yeah, about this photo? It's yeah, that's special, it. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So Basically, what, what the problem was that Cambodia was not a rich country. They had no weapons, no, no nothing. Weapons. They had nothing. So the only way to kill people was actually either to just hit them, beat them to death, or the second way was to just push them in the hole and bury them alive. I mean horrible, horrible stories have happened to this country. Yeah. And that's why we feel like it's, you cannot go to this country and not know at least a brief insight to what happened to these people because to see where they've come from and what they are now is This like was only 40 years ago. It's, it's crazy. The, the <laughs> average age at the moment is around 25. Yeah. So the, there are no old yes. people in the country. Yeah, we, we noticed ah, that. No old people. We oh, noticed okay. that. It was shocking. Yeah. Like Sam was saying, they used to hit the people to kill them. And this is a tree, so this is not in the prison. This is a, a special area where they used to bury the, the, the corpses or the people because they still were still alive. And because they would be screaming on the street, they put up um, speakers with music. So their screams wouldn't be heard because in the vicinity there were there were fields and people would be working the fields. Um, and this just just three um, Yeah. You, you have to go. I mean that's yeah. a tree and you have to go and, and see it. I mean Sorry. it's a horrible story but obviously yeah. like it just They like used to, to torture the people because Paul Potts used to think that there are CIA spies amongst his government or whatever amongst his people so they used like I would be suspicious of Sam and just take him in and question him to the, to death basically it was crazy and the last country we visited was Vietnam obviously Vietnam unfortunately another horrible story yeah but these are like what hit us most about the country what made us feel like how how, how could this happen and how were the people so good to us how did they come yeah. all this way yeah. so in vietnam obviously there was the vietnam war it was a war of aggression basically and the americans just kept fighting in order to safeguard their how would you call it safeguard their the, face yeah their face basically because <laughs> they there was no actual way they were going to win this war it was always a lot it was war an aggression war basically they, they were doing it without any purpose and there were so many people that used their voice to say, why are we doing this? What's the, what's the aim of this war? Why are we killing people? There were uh, people that refused to fight and people that were flying planes that were, no, nah, I'm not flying today. It's just, that's enough and I'm going home. And, uh, and we saw that, like, can you go on the yeah. next slide? Like this guy said that this was an experimental place for all inventions from US military engineers. Um, their purpose was to use living targets to test their inventions for later use in other battlefields. It's crazy and I cried so much in this museum, it was crazy. This is a, like, during this war, because it was not a declared war, journal journalists could go and take photos. And there's a crazy amount of photos depicting war, like you've never seen it before, it's so visual and like, can you explain this, how, because yeah, I don't know how to explain th it. This photo was basically taken just after napalm attack. Napalm was just liquefied, no, jellified petroleum. Once you throw it, it burns, and it burns whatever it touches. That girl, before hitting, getting hit by napalm, was wearing clothes. So clearly she was just running, the napalm hit, and she, her clothes disappeared. Yeah. And that photo was taken at that instant. This photo also won a Pilsner Award, because it was like... Yeah. 
Uh, I can't maybe, remember. Maybe. I can't it's very famous. Yeah. 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 It's very famous. Yeah. And, and this this is a result of what was happening in Vietnam. If you go to Vietnam nowadays, it's a very green country. It's a very, very green country. The, the forest there is like very aggressive. But 40 years ago? 40, year, 40 years ago, mostly, it was like this. They were using yeah. the foliage to, for the trees to fall, for the leaves to fall, and then they were using napalm to burn it. And that's like the result of what was happening to the country. Uh, because of Agent Orange also, like a fact which we learned and like I wish I, I, I didn't learn, is that 10% of the population of Vietnam has special needs. It like, is, uh, yeah. That's, that's really bad. Um, this Agent Orange is uh, like a bomb they used to destroy trees, basically, yeah, right? A pesticide, like a pesticide. Yeah, but they didn't know how vicious it is. And it was affecting pregnant women that even if, like, got pregnant eventually in 10 years or something like that, we saw, like, we were staying in homesteads, like we usually do homestays in um, uh, Airbnbs with, with families. And we literally saw like she would this lady had four kids, two of them were one was Down syndrome, the other had a cerebral palsy, I think. Mm -hmm. So so it was it's crazy and, and they are still affected obviously today. And even the US uh, agents and soldiers that were there have um have been affected. Have been affected they and their affected kids so, are, so. are like this maybe. Yeah, and that's why I say like like every time there's a war everyone loses and everyone is a victim of that war it's not that the country attacking its people are not the victims of it too everyone is a victim of a war yeah, and yeah. here clearly yeah, shown. Yeah, yeah. um yeah and uh these are uh, houses this is how vietnamese people live in the they city have tiny houses so tiny this is what we could see like it's the motorbike always in the house <laughs> and They'd be just eating like that. Yeah, and we used to just open house. peep into the house. They would wave. We would stare at the television for some time. <laughs> that's just it. Like uh, that's uh, you're standing outside. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. outside. Yeah, ah. we're on the road there. Yeah. <laughs> like like that's, yeah, that's yeah. That, like a barrier or something so <laughs> that people don't go in maybe or for cats. Rats. Yeah, for uh, or maybe yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And they have like Buddhist She's shrines. She's praying. Yeah, yeah, a lot of Buddhist shrines. Fridge, obviously. <laughs> yeah, and then we went to China. Um, so we obviously went for that. That we went specifically for the Great Wall of China. Um, it was unexpected because this to do it, it's a big challenge to walk on the Great Wall, and we don't know how they used to do it back in the day with the armor and everything. It goes, it follows the mountain path, so it goes down, it goes up, you have to go downstairs, then up. It's, it was a challenge. We, we walked maybe one and a half hour, two, two hours max. Yeah, maximum, yeah. And that's it, we were like, and we were very high up, and it was, it was very warm because we were walking all the time. So, yeah, it was a very nice experience. That's a great wall again. Here, for example, when we walked till around here. And here we could see like that to climb you have to like look yeah, like this. Steep. It's very steep. So here. steep, yeah. We're, we saw people going up and like it's no joke, but a lot of people die on the Great Wall because of heart attacks. Like it's no joke. Mm. Because old and, uh, especially <laughs> old people go and they don't know how challenging it is, but it's no, no joke. Yeah, yeah. So it's quite challenging. Yeah. And this is. And now coming up are like some funny stuff we saw in China, like this got my attention. So it's instead of a pusher, they used this, which is like a three wheeler. And then you just put your toddler in it. It's very weird. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, nappies. It's like ch kids are all the time like this. And it, it's like amuses me how they can like take their nappy out so easily. And he just squats and pulls that. It's like, what? A this is something that annoys us a lot. Because we hate this. We no, saw this so this. much. Yeah, you too. They, 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 they like squash the. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Sometimes Japanese guys do that. Why? Like, yeah. 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 Oh, oh my fucking shoes! <laughs> yeah, it's so uh, it's uh, it's yeah, it's very frustrating. And everyone is wearing uh, branded shoes in China. Obviously, I mean, like, branded shoes yeah. are the thing there. <laughs> yeah. Like everyone's very. Like, and ruining them. Yeah. yeah. 
And then massive cameras and yeah. lenses, it was a big thing. Yeah, a lot of people are carrying huge lenses, even in all the time. Ones, yeah. yeah, we saw it. Oh, yeah, can you guess what this is? Oh. Without reading Chinese or anything. And you may have seen it. Uh, that's a phone screen cleaner. <laughs> no? no? <laughs> Close. It's a, isn't it the toilet paper? Yeah. 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 You need yeah. to use your face recognition and the smartphone to open Yeah. No. Smartphone to open it, yeah, you're close. So in China they use WeChat, maybe you've heard of it. And I was like, how do I need toilet paper? How do I get it out? <laughs> and here it's logged, it was totally logged. So you have to scan that with WeChat and then it takes maybe, I don't know, whatever money it costs and then toilet paper comes out. <gasps> so, so you had to scan it for toilet paper. It so if you don't have a smartphone. Yeah, so I didn't, I couldn't use toilet paper. <laughs> don't have WeChat. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then like matching clothes. Matching, yeah. We saw yeah, this was in the Forbidden Japanese City. Thing. Yeah. 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 It's and crazy. Chinese take it to the next level. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like pants and hoodies. This was everything basically. This was a couple wearing the same hoodie and same thing. And then again we saw what was this? Oh yes, yeah, same mm -hmm. track suit exactly. These had the same colors. It was crazy, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So everywhere we went, we had yeah. obviously different money, and we had to get used to the different money. Like, for example, that's India. This, that's Hong Kong dollar. Hong Kong dollar. Sri Lankan money. What's this, this is oh, Vietnam. Dong. Yeah, Vietnamese. Vietnamese dong. Yeah. Yeah, it's like we were, we were millionaires there. Like one euro is 20,000. Yeah. Yeah, it was twenty six. I think. Twenty six thousand. Oh, One okay. euro is twenty six thousand. So you have to like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah go calculate. On. Yeah. So we put this up because it's like when you realize, like, oh my God, I have a lot of money, but this means that a lot of different money. Mm -hmm. But this means that we went to a lot of places and we traveled and. We, you finally get to the point that say, wow, I've been through a lot of places and seen a lot of things, but really, all the people we've met, like in all the countries, they were so kind to us, and yeah. we may have had like a, some bad experiences, but that's not what really shapes a country, right? It's, it's like we've met kind-hearted people everywhere, and we we do get lost and you have to ask here and there how to go from A to B and you will always find someone that wants to help or yeah and especially with kids and this is why we put this next uh, video uh, kids are the same everywhere around the world this was me in India this is a public school in India and we were doing oh, I don't know about the sound mm, check them out. Okay. Mm. If no. you're in the south, like for example, but those we were with our friends. Yeah, at the same time, like those kids, for example, two them, like everywhere in the south, especially, like two them white people are something extraordinary. They have never seen something like that. They they want to touch you to see what it feels like. like <laughs> they have no yeah. idea. Like. And this school was so special because there was a kindergarten area <laughs> and when we went in the kids were like and our, my friend was saying you are the first by people they ever saw so that was so special yeah and yeah public schools are a bit different from private ones yeah. they are more like the like like everywhere public schools are for fishermen and like like especially less jobs. This, this public yeah school. especially this one yeah so yeah. That's it basically. It's just a small resume of like what we've done throughout we our travels. We hope we gave you like some lessons it's, from it's what we learned. Yeah, very brief, very brief like session. Yeah. Uh, do you want to ask anything? Uh, that's it basically. Yeah. 
We hope you didn't make it too sad about the <laughs> yeah. four stories no. we're like. When, like when are you going to Peru? Peru, we don't know. We don't know yet. We have to go like first. We have to go to Australia, and then we'll start planning like. Yeah, yeah. From where? Go to Australia to make some money, hopefully, and then. We'll yeah, make. fly from there probably. Going to public school and teach. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's Oh, it's uh, difficult uh, area. Yeah. yeah. So What's the nicest thing you ate in one country? Mm. Mm, the nicest thing you ate. In I think I think like mm-hmm. Indian naan bread. Dal curry, I miss it so much. Dal curry, but like lent- Indian lentil curry. Uh, in India, there's like if if you consider like all the jobs, like obviously mm-hmm. I I'm going to be like women do like because like women are the ones who stay at home and men work for the family like that's how it works. If you consider all the jobs that women do, first is food, so cooking and the rest of the things fall if you have time. So if you have time, you may clean. You may wash clothes, but food, first, food, food is first. They used to start cooking from 6 a.m. in the morning. And the curry, that's why it's so good, because it, it, it takes ages to, to get ready. And then they may think, oh, more chili, and add some more chili and taste, and oh, more blue. And, and, and it used to take ages to get ready. And, we and used to realize how many ingredients, like a yeah, curry would have 20, yeah, 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 yeah. 25 ingredients. Yeah. But it's like true. Things. First, cooking. Second priority, cooking. Third priority, mm-hmm. cooking. It's it's like this all the time. Cleaning and takes a very low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cleaning is somewhere down the line. Very down the yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But first, it's cooking. Yeah. And the food they make is really every good. day. It's something different, and it's basically curry and rice, but different types of curries and rice. Um, and then we used to get chapati. It's like naan bread, and naan bread, of course. And like like the the Indian food is made with a lot of love. The more you move towards the like the east of Asia, like for example, Cambodia, you start to realize that the people have much less time for food, and it takes a much lower oh, priority. For example, Vietnam, everyone like eats out normally. They don't cook oh, a lot yeah. at home. Yeah. Yeah. But like But we noticed that like after India and then Sri Lanka and then <coughs> and then in yeah, from Cambodia to Vietnam and to China and here a lot of people eat out. Like and the prices go different. up always, like for, for, to all the countries we've been. Do they make like <coughs> their own naan and chapati at home? At home no. No at home. Naan no 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 they don't make it at home. Because you mean like proper oven. Yeah. No, no, they don't make it at home. They have like baby. For example, parota they make at home, I think they used to make them. Or no, they used to buy that. No, no, they used to make it. Parota they used to make. And but every, it's special because make. everything is from their garden. I, you have to see this video and then that's it. <laughs> I stopped talking. Oh, 
I think like India, we have a lot of stories about India, especially because of the time we spent there as well. We spent around a month and a half and a month living with this family, like a proper month living with yeah, them. So I wanted to show this video because you can understand better what we were and, talking about. And we were thinking that the first country we would go to would grow thinner, but we actually, I think, gain, gained weight in the country. We were eating so much. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah, like we, we, it took us some time to learn how to say no. <laughs> like proper no. If you say maybe, maybe or I oh might God. try, that means yeah. you're, you're doing something. It means yes. Yeah, yeah. it means yes. Most of the head, like, yeah. 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 Oh, so... Yes. Oh, this is yes yeah. in India. Yeah. yeah, this is yes. Yes. This is no. No. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like the longer you nod, like the more chances there are yeah. that you could turn into a yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's true. It's true. You reminded me of that. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy. And they that. they do make a sound, so you like. Mm. Mm. Like this, yeah. so you, you have to get used to it. How did you meet this family? Uh, family? This guy, he yeah, actually has one a, of the guy from the video. They didn't really speak he, in the video. He has a very interesting. He had a very interesting story in Malta. He came to Malta because he didn't want to do as the rest of his friends. He wanted to challenge himself. Mm. So because was, everyone usually goes to Dubai or Abu Dhabi. <laughs> from yeah. India, they fly there to make money, and he came to Malta. He came to Malta and uh, he told us that at one point he had 25 cents in his pocket, which is very little, and just a loaf of bread. And he was like, this is my last chance to do it or I'll go home. And then he, he got the job. the job on the day, like he wow. got the job. So all his money had finished. He had, he yeah. So yeah, and he, then, so you knew this guy. Yeah, yeah and then my yeah. uncle made friends with him and my uncle was there 10 years ago. In the same place, at, at his house. The only thing her uncle was doing was driving him to the mosque. Like, so a good action turned into us going to this place. House is like karma, going yeah, around yeah. and around. Yeah, so, that was very special. Yeah, it was a very special experience, I would say. Yeah. Any more questions? <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope that wasn't boring. No. Oh, I've been here for a very long time, and no oh. disrespect to anybody's <laughs> presentation, but that is the best one by far Yay! that I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, so India to me as well. I think I'm like, that's on my list. Now. Yeah, India. India. It, it, India is this yeah. country where and. I'm not joking, we were crying when we were leaving the country. Yeah, we were, I was crying so much. We were crying because... Because they were family then, and it's... <laughs> and, and, and everyone is so welcoming. To, to this day, I say, there's... We, I've never met a, a country that's as welcoming as India. Yeah. Because it, they were offering us accommodation. And, and I was like, how? Like, and do you food. have something to, something to eat? Come. Come. And do you and have food? To sleep? There are people with sleep? not a sleep? lot of money. They have money. I mean, they're not that poor, but they're not people with a lot of money. And yet they want you to come. And when you go, and we've been to a couple of houses, they cook what best they can. They will they cook fish. They clean the house. <laughs> you can tell it's clean because of you. You can tell, yeah. And it they want to show you all their family. You have to meet all of it. Yeah. So you have to meet their uncle. We all. We, a guy actually took us to his... Um, to his, uh, his sick, sick father in the hospital so we can meet him. We I'm not joking. We, we ended up yeah. in a hospital at 11 p.m. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, you have to come and meet him. And I was like, why am I here? <laughs> and and he, he, had, he was tubed, basically. And this was the, like, fa the first time where we learned that you have to say no. Like a no is yeah. a no, the baby is yeah, not it an was, answer. It was weird, yeah. Yeah, it was weird. But but like we I think we've grown a lot since we since we left home and that's what maybe yeah. Okay. And if you need any travel tips about any countries we've been to, just really we would be very happy to and, help. And if you're willing to go to India someday, we can definitely give you the contacts of these guys. Oh, For yeah. example, did you see that part where we were in that boat on the river? Mm -hmm. in yeah. the beginning, we yeah. were the only boat on that river. I mean, this is not the tour that you go to in. I don't know, LAP where there's everyone. This was just us on the river. We were at a mangrove. We went on the mangrove, which is a, a, like a different habitat. There were uh, rats and... We waited until 6 p.m. to see the birds flying back to their nest and it was spectacular. It was worth it. Yeah. Because the people were locals and they knew how it works and everything. So it was very special. And yeah. that, that boat that was shown and the guy who was driving it before there was a bridge, he was the guy carrying the people across the, yeah. the islands. Because those are like islands. Yeah. It's like nothing we've done before in our lives, and I don't think we'll ever do something like this again, probably. So, yeah. if we can share that with you, maybe like, and. And I, I always say, if it's something that makes you go out of your comfort zone, try it and do it because it's it would be worth it always. Even if you lose, you learn a lot. So, it's always the way to go. At least that's that's how we go about it. That's how it, we got really. here. Yeah, that's how we got here. <laughs> when we first started this trip, we were going only to India. And then we said, maybe we should go to someplace else. And suddenly we visited eight countries. 
Yeah. It's our eighth country, so that's how it started. Sometimes, and something else we learned, it's sometimes when you pay for something, it's it loses its value. It's because it's easy and it's something you get because you you lend your money talk basically. Like we saw, we went on a hike in India and we saw wild elephants, and then we saw wild elephants again in Sri Lanka, and then we were like, we have to do this tour because it's a safari and you go in a natural park in Sri Lanka and you see elephants. We have to do it, and we went and we woke up at four a.m. to go see the elephants, and when we were there, it was like. I don't know how to explain it, but it was a different we were we were sitting down in a jeep and he was driving us around and you don't do any effort at all. It's I don't know how to explain it, but it's so much more satisfying when you work for it. It's definitely more satisfying, and that's why hitchhiking has that that feel to it. It's it's awesome. Adventurous. You meet people. You have a challenge. You meet so. a lot of people from, and you learn so much. Yeah. yeah. I love. Yeah, but we've never tried hitchhiking in Japan, though. No, I hear not. Not too late. It's not too late, <laughs> right? Right. We tried in Beijing. No one stopped. <laughs> no, no one stopped in maybe thirty minutes. Yeah. No one wanted us. Any more questions? If that's it, we can wrap it up. I think. Yeah. Uh, can you give something to maybe not calm down is the wrong word to give me something to my hand? I'm quite. Not afraid, but I have a definitely a distance to India regarding what you've been uh, explaining too. Mm -hmm. So um, the extreme dirt, you might as well oh. mm -hmm. not, uh, call it, like the poop and the smell and the very different food and the very different uh, <laughs> um, idea of hygiene and stuff like that. So could you give? Is there something where you say this makes it easier to go to a country, or this compares on the counter white? Is that makes it definitely worth it, or that makes it worth on doing the first definitely. step? Definitely, I, I would say, I would I say like after the like after the the first I would say five days, mm. we could see the good from like we could start seeing why. We someone would go to India. Mm. Oh, it's yeah. not easy to explain, but because it's so different, it's nothing like you've seen before in yeah. your life. And because India is not westernized, that's it basically. Because it's so huge, there are so many people. It's not westernized. Here you get squat toilets, right? You, you've seen them, but it's different because it's in a household like where we were living. There, there were squat toilets only. So that's what. That's what the end, no toilet paper, forget it. So we were going to the supermarket and buying loads of toilet paper because we couldn't do otherwise. No, we're not going down that road. And we said, yeah. We but, but I think. But it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's different because, because that's why it's so unique. And that's why everyone says, oh, it's India. And everyone says, and we say, no, we've been to India. We cannot, like, my friend told me in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, you'll be surprised by the amount of, tra of traffic of motorbikes. And we were there and we were like, what this? Like, not to sound snobbish or to sound proud or whatever, but, but yeah, but India is something else. It, and it, Delhi is something else. It gives else. you something which nowhere else can give you. And India has been as well, right? And you know that it gives you something like nothing. And, and no one else can give you. Get takes it the gives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it's a it's a cultural experience that you will never experience world. anywhere anywhere other ways than India. Yeah, like, I heard that. But, but, was that sorry? I, mean, I, said, I heard that about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no worries. Andy stuff. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but I would say like if you avoid, for example, the large cities like Delhi. And you Mumbai be, and Calcutta. You will be, definitely be okay, but I'm sure that if you go to the other places first and then you'll go to Delhi, yeah. you won't be as shocked like as we did. Because imagine what the, the, the wrong thing we did was we never researched anything. So imagine getting to India, getting dropped off in this place where like everything is different, nothing works the same. And that was our mistake, probably. But if you avoid that in the beginning, go somewhere else. And yeah. if you're and if you're super afraid of this country about being dirty and this and that, just avoid Delhi. Like, 
stay just to go to the airport and leave that place. Yes. We we the went. Delhi is by far the dirtiest place I've seen. Yeah. And it's on earth. Yeah. And it's not. <laughs> that's all is that's true. That's true. Yeah. And it's not India. It's not in yeah. Delhi. Yeah. Is not India. Delhi is just Delhi. Delhi is a monster of its own. And once you go out of Delhi, it's completely. We went to Rajasthan, for example, and it's spectacular. It's palaces upon palaces, and then it's like like there's the, they call it Little Venice. It's this king built like his own canal system with palaces everywhere. We went to Pushkar, which is where they um, it's like their ceremony to say goodbye to their uh, dead family members. Uh, family yeah, members. That's, that's where they in the gods. That's where they brought Gandhi's ashes up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like s similar to the Ganges, but the god is like a closed. Uh, space but it's enormous and it's not there but it's, it's so there. peaceful like you like you forget where you are it's no, nowadays it's I mean we, we like for, if you want some <coughs> something from us as well maybe like we're, we wouldn't say like we wouldn't go back and yeah. actually we say we want to go back to Delhi to yeah. see it now from new eyes because we don't know yeah. what I, I always like. say this to Sam if I have like a, a chance to go again I will go again we, we were so afraid we didn't try the metro because they, they, they actually have a metro there and we didn't get a, 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 a train there we didn't like from Delhi to Agra we got a taxi because we were so stiff and afraid we were yeah. afraid in the beginning so, That's how it is. so I want to go back again and like be able to look at people's faces not just go like that and be scared mm -hmm. and be able to experience it like like how, how did you go to the south? Like, did you fly? We flew, yeah. We flew, yeah, yeah. We flew. There's a long distance. So you never been on a train? Yeah, we flew. Yeah, been, but in the ah, south then. Ah, in the okay. south. Yeah. But even trains, for example, a lot of people scare you about trains. I mean, that India is not for everyone. I, I, I can't tell you. Like, if you don't feel up to it, it's it, a yeah, it's a challenging place. Yeah, I, I have no problem with like going into the mud. I'm just asking, like, uh, if. It's what if there's a reward? Waiting. There is a huge reward. There is a huge one. I like that quote that you said that your friend, you go in crying, you leave crying. Yeah, yeah. I think it sums it up. Yeah, I, I think, but obviously it depends on the experience. Our experience <coughs> was like that. Yeah, and you have to seek out what you like, obviously. Um, like, we know a lot of people that go to India for yoga retreats and uh, to meditate. And there are There's a lot of tons them. of experiences you can do there, which we didn't do. We went to uh, an Ayurvedic massage, which was spectacular, like out of this world. <laughs> yeah, it was, was so good. Like it was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, so there are a lot of experiences, apart from the food, apart from the culture, and uh, we can recommend places where they see wild elephants. We know, like, and and for example, the, the fruit you get there. Super cheap, like food. Organic. Or like yeah, and you see them grow in the trees. Like we've seen all kinds of trees, and in India everything grows, everything grows. Like uh, ananas, star fruit, jackfruit, everything. Yeah. There's everything there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like did you have like uh, jackfruit curry? We had the. Uh, no. It wasn't jackfruit season, so they uh, used to do jackfruit uh, smoothies. drink kind uh, of. Right. Jackfruit smoothies. And we we also fried. tried coconut liqueur, which they th we saw the guy go up the coconut like a monkey. <laughs> they go like, tch, 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 and, and they go up, and then he cuts a special part of the coconut tree, and then he just came down with the coconut. It it looks different. It's not like milk or water. It looks different and tastes different. <laughs> it's a it's a very strange taste. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Uh, I, I like we kept trying all these new things and none of them can be experienced elsewhere apart from India. Yeah, go. Yeah, go. You and it's still and it's still very raw. There's no tourism this agencies, there's nothing. Yeah. Obviously you can book a tour. And trains are easy to get, cheap, as cheap as Sri Lanka. And it was the cheapest country you've been in. That that's Definitely, yeah, definitely. yeah, that's a plus. Okay. So cheap. And any more questions, like uh, about any country we visited? I mean, yeah. India is big, but and yeah. we want to go back. Yeah. What, what was before India? Is Rome. Oh, Rome. 
We went to Rome. Want, uh, why don't you this one? Oh, yeah. Was it home? It's like half the time. Yes, please. Come on, at least 10 minutes. 10 minutes max. Sorry for coming late. Yeah, I hate you. I know it. Yeah, we hate you, Andy. Everybody does. Yeah. We were like Andy's widows in spirit because of this photo. <laughs> You've been up uploading that picture just for me? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did my best. Uh, I, it's okay. It's okay. So, yeah. Don't worry. Wow. Okay. That was very nice, guys. I think we took longer than we should have on. Just enough. As long as it's good, it's never too long. We didn't get bored. Okay, that's good. And <laughs> like, if, if you want to ask us more questions, even like when we're here, <laughs> don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. We have a lot of things to learn from everyone. Where are you going? So that's why we ask as well. Going to school. Uh, and? Only. And after? I'm Viva. Oh, you can come here? Yes. Finally! <laughs> yes, yes. Finally! 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 Partly because I was really young, it was the like first time I went outside for so long. I did the same thing in England. Uh -huh. First food in England. It's it's easy 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 because it was so different. Yeah. Like maybe you fry yeah. happiness or maybe you fry off. Sadness. What is shit? Sadness. What is fried chicken? I eat for breakfast. Oh, I think she has something like that. And then I came back to Japan and I ate so much. I ate like <laughs> oh my god. I what missed this so you? much. And my parents were more than sick. Oh. She was there, like, oh my god. Why did you really do something like that? Let's yes, pretend we don't know him. Let's pretend we don't know him. But you can find Japanese food in England, I'm sure. Well, it wasn't in London. Oh, okay. I could find maybe Asian. Where were you? I was in Sapo. Which is like south, well, yeah. south exactly. southeastern part of England. Dark, where oh, where Kieran's from? Is it? Oh, really? Oh, I think he's not that far away. From oh, okay. Hmm? Nice. Kieran. Where is he from? He's not from London. Kieran no. is not from London. No. Okay. I think he's from. One more time. I think yeah. he's from southeastern. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Kieran is near Kent. Right. Kent. Right. Uh, from near Kent. Something like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Left yeah. you. Okay. 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 Blessed. Southeast, maybe. Yeah. Blessed. Southeast. Okay. I like that. And yeah. you do you want to stay in, like in England? Do you, do you like it so much there? Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to, like I mean, you've been seven years. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. like living in country. So basically, seven years. <laughs> like when they asked me, did you, do you live in Japan? Like, I don't know. Like I've been here like total of like all my trips like yeah. six, Half seven months. Like, do, did I live here? I don't know. Like. <laughs> Maybe no, maybe yes. Yeah, I guess seven years. years. Yeah, so seven years. Seven years. <laughs> years. <laughs> yes. Seven years when I was young too. So That's really a big portion. Yeah, and in and the very uh, important thing of life. Yes. And when your parents like decided, what what did you say? Or or you had no? Oh, well, it was like either I go to the temple or to England. So really? To the temple? Yeah, they just wanted me out. <laughs> <laughs> they really hate you. No, no, no. And why did they want you out? That was one of their philosophy, I think, from the book about education and about really? kids. Do you have they wanted, Yeah, yeah, yeah. The younger brother. All Same of them? Him? Yeah, he came like one or two years later than I. So he actually graduated from elementary school. I haven't. <laughs> In Japan, anyway. Yeah, so oh. they read a few books and they came to the conclusion that it was better that the parents weren't involved in education. <laughs> what do, well, what well, do your parents do? Away. Like, what's their job? My mom is public servant. Mm -hmm. She's one of the self-defense force nurses. Ooh, well, okay. And then my father is like contractor. Contractor? Yeah, yeah. Um, he's a big businessman. 
Okay. Yeah. No, no, I was like trying to understand if there was like any sort of connection with like education. Yeah. I've got, I've got a, but they, uh, they, they think no, that this is the right way. Yeah. I mean, they did, they did a terrible job with you. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's doing Hopefully. Oh, he's so like, from yeah, st statistic <laughs> wise, <laughs> if your brother would turn out better than you, yeah. it would be like a 50-50%. If he makes double the money that I do, which he does now. How old is he? Of course, but there's like fields where you need more than others, for like fixing wires is not no, that. Really, no. It's not the best, <laughs> like or like taking care of the others in Japan, where mm -hmm. like ninety nine point nine percent of the others are Japanese. Japanese. That, yeah. that in the future might be quite helpful as well in Japan because there are lots of like uh, Cambodian people is coming to Japan mm. and Cambodian. they need the yeah yeah yeah. Wow. Chief countries. Yeah, yeah, but I guess. Yeah, but I guess. Yeah. But I guess. Oh, well, everywhere I guess. Oh, well, I guess. Oh, well, I guess. Like that. So just have like a strange school for them. But I mean, of course. Yeah, 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 but like, in case in town. again, mm -hmm. if yeah. you were my yeah, kid, okay. I would love you to be as far away from me as possible. <laughs> so I understand your parents. So I will be in Spain basically, <laughs> far away from it as possible from Japan. But still, like, I, I, I don't know, it's very comfortable to have a few parties, so. It's not going to be exciting. Andrea, a question. Before you visit Australia, did you go to Asian countries? I've no? seen your post. I don't know how is it possible, but I, I've, I've seen it. Yeah? And I didn't have to go through X-ray. Where did you visit? Did I you didn't visit? have to. But did you visit Australia? Like, did you visit Australia before any other Asian country? But I don't know why they asked yeah, you. Can you because we went to out? India, Malaysia. Yeah, but if you tick yes, I've been to a country for a certain long. Yes. Uh, Mistake? Yeah. Can we change that? No. no. I don't think so. When you fly into Australia. You heard your because I know, who was that? Yeah, we were stressing about it, but, but I mean, really, what to do but now? No, 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 I mean, not, not, nothing, but it just takes some time. And Because I remember, like, I can't remember, like, because so many of my friends went to Australia, and one of, oh, yeah, okay, okay, now remember, now remember. He's one of my best friends, now he's in Australia. Mm. And he had some... He has a condition, he has like some... Brain problem, like suffer from yeah, epilepsy, yeah. basically. Okay. Uh, so, he ticked that he was taking some drugs and medicine yeah. on a daily basis, blah blah blah. Thank so, you. if you just say that you take some medicine, you've been some places, blah blah blah, the first thing they would ask on like my standards is for the x-ray on the, the chest yeah yeah uh, the tumor, tuberculosis yeah and here it's quite expensive so i don't know i will make a big mistake i think can't you get it paid through your uh, insurance yeah that's yeah, what, that's what i'm thinking yeah. but like do it fast because it takes some time so ca can't i change it like can't i send them and tell them like because they said consecutive and consecutive they are not you can try, you can try, but like do it as fast as possible. No oh, shit. Because I know the, like this friend of mine. Would you need an x ray for? For tuberculosis, I mean. Uh, do you have it? No. No. <laughs> you don't know? No, you pretty sure you don't. Well, you're trying to avoid having an x ray done? Yeah. Yeah, because they basically, if you apply for a visa in Australia, they're gonna ask you if you have like any condition, if you've been like to. Countries where you could be exposed to tuberculosis or like so on. But we can have injection for it. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I know, I know, but that, that's just a standard thing. So they so say like, made a big mistake. Yeah, yeah but now there's it's no use crying over spoon, and now it's done. Yeah, of course. I mean, <coughs> it's manageable. Enjoy. So like this friend of mine was like, enjoy. Um, Thank you. You enjoy your. Really concerned because he had nice his sleep. flight in just a few weeks, yeah, so right. he had to book. Mm -hmm. All like the x ray and everything, like straight away, like as fast as possible. Like and of course, you always like have to think uh, that they have to, you have to send the mail, they have to read the mail, they have to uh, work on it, they have to answer you, and then maybe they need to go through further question, and then they answer it, and you have to answer it. So it's not a matter of you. It's a matter of like a little bit. But like the sooner you do, the better it is. Yeah, I don't just, I just so don't I would like say, answer first, say, no, ah, okay, sorry, I, uh, I misread, uh, I have, maybe like what like you can do, mm -hmm. uh, My so reason is I never if the question was, have yeah. you been for three months consecutively to the same country, maybe you just have to take some pictures of your passport stamp and just say it with the mail, say, okay, sorry, I just misread the question. I have not been for three months in a row. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so maybe the